Welcome to another episode of Open RCT2 Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own hubless observation wheel. Now, this design is modeled after observation wheels like the London Eye, but more specifically, the world's first hubless Ferris wheel or observation wheel, the Big O at the Tokyo Dome. Now, a hubless Ferris wheel or observation wheel is a wheel that has no spokes to support it, as you can see here. I have created this design where the riders get to slowly go around the wheel and they get to load each train individually, unlike some of the other hacked Ferris wheels you might see in other people's parks. All right, so to get started, you're going to want to go to your cheats and make sure you have the allow arbitrary ride type changes, show vehicles from other track types, and disable vehicle limits turned on. And then we are going to start with either the twister or the vertical drop coaster, it doesn't matter. Now I like to start with a three units high station. It should be at 15 feet. And we're gonna have a two unit station and then a piece of straight track uh, at the beginning and end of it. Now the entrance should be on the first unit. Uh, that's gonna help with the timing for the loading. So we'll put that here and then the exit can be on the second. Other side doesn't really matter. All right, and now I'm just gonna make those invisible. And there we are. So you're going to want to start your slope up. So you're gonna go one, two, three, then switch to a steep slope, one, two, go to vertical, and then we're gonna turn around and then go back to steep. One, two, here, one, two, three. Oops, yeah, that's right. And then it should be lining up right at the bottom for our flat pieces, one, two, three, four. All right, and then you return, one, two, three. So it's a really simple giant circle we're trying to create. Turn back around on the vertical section, and there you have it. All right, so now we have our wheel shape. Now for the hub, we're gonna use the multi-dimension coaster, and you're just gonna want straight track, and I'm gonna want that to be uh, 15 feet above, or three units above our, our normal track, and you're gonna do four units of that matching. Uh, the flat track here, and then we're gonna go up and just do one, two, and go to vertical, one, two, I'm sorry, steep. And now we're gonna go to vertical here. And the problem is you can't actually make it go the direction you want with the multi-dimension track. So you're gonna have to turn on disable clearance checks, go up a little bit higher, turn on quarter loop, and you want the quarter loop to be at 230 feet or 15 feet below the 245 right here, so 230. We're gonna go over here and then we're gonna just delete all this to about there, right in the middle. So now you're gonna come up here and have it come down to meet. And you're gonna see these are not actually gonna to connect together. It's just an issue with the game. So you actually can't make a fully functional loop with the multi-dimension coaster in this manner. And we'll do the same thing here. I'll just have to come back to the bottom, get these two to connect. And we'll just make that a nice white color. And now we have our hub. And now we just need some scenery to make it look nice. So, put these guys out here. All right, and so now we got our structure. And now for the vehicles, we are going to change this to something that is uh, self-propelling. So one of the car rides, uh, so like the Cheshire Cats works. Uh, but I'm gonna use the monster trucks because those give you that excitement and intensity boost. And we're gonna wanna have 35 trains. And then we're going to set our minimum and maximum waiting times to just one second. And that's gonna give us a nice uh, gap between each vehicle. And that should be good to go. And now we need to spawn the vehicles. Now you wanna make sure the game is paused when you do this because uh, as we start editing the ride vehicles, it's gonna get messed up if you don't have the game in pause. So now we have our vehicles. Now you're gonna to wanna to use the Edit Ride Vehicles plugin. Now if you don't have this plugin, there is a link in the video description. This is version 1.1. Hopefully there will be a newer version eventually that will have some newer features. But right now we're gonna select our vertical drop poster 
and it's selecting the first vehicle, which is a truck. It's train one, vehicle one, and vehicle one is actually invisible. You can't see it. So if I change the variant to zero, you'll see a vehicle spawns. Uh, but if I change it back to one, it's invisible. So it's actually vehicle two that is the ride carriage. Uh, so we can change that to invisible by changing the variant. Uh, but what we're gonna do right now is focus on vehicle one. We need to change the acceleration and speed. So I want the max speed to be four. I'm gonna change my units to 10 here and I wanna drop the acceleration down to 30. Uh, and now there's no easy way to apply this uh, to all of, the, all of the trains how I want it in this version of the Ride Vehicle Editor. Uh, so if you click apply this to all vehicles, it will only apply it to the vehicles of this train. So I'm gonna change it to apply this to all trains. Uh, but because we're on vehicle one, which is an invisible variant, when I click apply this to all trains, it's gonna change everything invisible, which is fine, but if the game was not in pause, the vehicles would start moving and doing all kinds of weird things in test mode. So now we need to put the ride carriages on. So we're gonna change to vehicle two, uh, and it's still, I mean, you could change the variant to zero and have a monster truck, uh, but we don't really want that. Uh, and as you can see, as I change the variant, it, it uh, got rid of my settings here, uh, but that doesn't matter because vehicle one is what is going to be powering uh, the train. So we can go to vehicle two and we're gonna change it to the bumper boats. Now I use the bumper boats because they maintain their flat orientation uh, even on the slopes. So they're not gonna tilt as they go upwards. Uh, but you need to make sure that your bumper boats are an available ride vehicle in this uh, scenario. Otherwise they will not show up in this list. So you need to make sure you have them turned on in your ob object selection. So we have our bumper boats here. Uh, but like I said, in this version of the Ride Vehicle Editor, I can't use this apply to all trains because it will make every single vehicle uh, a bumper boat, and I don't want vehicle one to be a bumper boat, or vehicle three for that matter. So what we're going to do is take this vehicle two, click the copy button, and then I'm going to go to train two. We're on vehicle one now. I have to change it to vehicle two, and then I'll click this paste button. And now you can see there's the next carriage. So this is really tedious because I'm gonna have to do it 35 times for each, each train. I'm gonna have to turn that on. All right, now that we have all of our vehicles spawned, uh, we can now change the ride to the air-powered vertical coaster. Uh, so now that's gonna make the track disappear except for this track up here. So you're gonna wanna use your tile inspector uh, and then you can either come down here and select that track piece this way and change it to invisible. Or you can actually just hold the control button and actually click on the track and make it invisible that way. And I have some hotkeys set so it makes it easy for me. So now we have our hubless Ferris wheel and we can now get rid of these supports with the tile inspector again. So the easiest way is just to bring the surface all the way to the top and do that for each one. All right, so now we have a good looking observation wheel. I'm just gonna make the track white here at the bottom. Just makes it look nice for the station. And then if you really wanna make things look pretty, you can change the color of each train to a nice rainbow. All right, now we have a nice rainbow and we just need to give a cue line for this ride. All right, and we can take it out of pause mode and with it open, it should operate just as I would like it to. I'm gonna speed it up. And so there we have it. We have our working hubless observation wheel and you can see the guests are loading in each train individually and it gets really good stats uh, with the air powered vertical coaster. We got, you know, very high excitement and medium and that's also helped a little bit by the monster trucks. But yeah, this is a great addition for your park really easy to build. You just got to get familiar with the uh, Edit Ride Vehicles plugin. Uh, the only problem with this plugin is that since we edited all of the ride vehicles, if I were to uh, close the ride and change anything so that the vehicles disappear and I have to respawn all of the trains, it will default back to what the ride is set at, which would be monster trucks. And you'd have to go back in the plugin and add the bumper cars all over again. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I have lots of great ideas I love sharing with you guys. Uh, and any feedback in the comments or questions that you have um, are definitely welcome. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.